Hey everyone, it's Jargus Gaming. Welcome back to Mario Tennis Aces. Last time we cleared the adventure story by defeating Lucian Bowser. Or Bowser, as it's called. And everything on the island returned to normal. But wait! We went back into adventure and this island, this ruin, appeared from beneath the waves. Yes, this is the Rune of Trials. Now this I'm actually post-commentating because this is actually a set of mini-games. And this time, you do not get to use the all out energy if you keep failing. Because this one keeps track of your high score. So you actually have to be good at these games. And it's all the ones we've seen before. The first is these panel shots where to win you need a minimum score of 700. And this one took me almost 40 minutes to do. So I figured, well, the rest are going to be like this, so I might as well just do it after the fact. Otherwise, it's just going to lot cut and forth. Just doing my first attempts and then my later ones. Much farther apart. But it turns out, this one was the only one that really gave me a lot of trouble. The others, not so much. And once you clear one of these trials, a pillar of its color will... Uh, light up next to the circle. So you see the panel challenge. And you gain some time to keep going every 100 points you get. And I just barely made that one in time. <laughs> so by the time you hear me say this, it's probably moved on. Then you have the yellow challenge, which is this ring mini game, which at this point it actually is another mode of the game, but I haven't experienced it yet. This one you had a minimum score of 500, and it only took me two tries to do. And on my first one, I had it at like 497. <laughs> Pretty much, you and the other end just keep bouncing the ball in between the rings. And your score goes up with different multipliers, depending how many you get at once, with the red rings being worth more points. Really simple and straightforward just by looking at it. Nothing special here, two tries. Now our third challenge is the Sure Shot Challenge, which we've had plenty before. This one you had to do more than 30, and before the maximum we had to do was 30, so just one more than that. Now this would not be so difficult if it weren't for the fact that I'm still so incredibly inept at doing trick shots or just blocking the charge shots that defeat your racket. Cause that's what really messed me up, my bracket keep getting broken with all those attempts. If I was better at that, this would have taken me like half the time to do. It is still a bit challenging because your Mario Doppelganger moves around the center a lot. So he does hit a handful back more than you would from the other challenges you've taken. But overall, this is not so bad. I think it's my lack of skill that made this one more challenging than anything else. Yeah. Mario 
We have our final yellow challenge. This trial was pretty easy. It's just do a 500 rally. No, it was 400. And we've done 400 before. Just you have no short shot energy to help. And of course, if the opponent misses, then it doesn't count as a strike against you. It took me only one try to do this. And I didn't even miss any until I had about 100 left to do. So this is real simple and I just stopped trying to return it once I hit the quota because no need to keep going. I'm just trying to complete the mode, not trying to get the highest score or anything. So that was done. And once that's done, the final pillow lights up, and every trial makes a staircase right to the center. We have one more level to do, the King's Trial, to become the King of Tennis. And what this is actually is a boss rush of every boss in the game. The only difference is, you have no time limit. Your timer is really going up to count your best score and nothing else. Though it does increase by 5 seconds every time you miss a shot or get hit by anything. So the only way you can lose is if all of your rackets get broken. Now had I known it worked this way before I started, I would have reorganized my rackets so that my weakest are first, because you fight the bosses in order, to the strongest at the end. Because by the end of it, I only had 2 rackets left in my last one was in pretty bad condition. Now what really made it frustrating is that I knew I wasn't good at deflecting the charge shots, so I didn't attempt to. Once I realized this is how it worked and I was running out of rackets. Problem is, mainly for the glooper blooper and Balcian is that they do charge shots all the time to the point when fighting Balcian he did 12 or more <laughs> of them in a row yes yeah, so actually counted that was ridiculous because I didn't have the confidence in myself plus I was dealing with the joy-con drift in full blow which made things even worse. So all in all, it took a lot of effort. 
Well, not even ever, just a lot of patience to wait for my, my opportunity. If one of those is bouncing his bullet bill back and forth, that was easy. Was it a bullet bill or some sort of super powerful ball? Anyway, that was easy to do. Just hit that three times and it was over with. And for winning it all, you get the ability to use Lucian's racket in free play. Lucian's racket in free play. Well, obviously not as overpowered as the others, but still pretty darn strong. And that said and done, adventure mode is completely clear. The only thing you can do now is enjoy the challenges again and maybe try to beat your high scores, but that's it. So on the next episode of Mario Tennis Aces, we'll be checking out the other modes we can explore. Till then, this has been Jargus Gaming, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of this boss rush. Until then, everyone.